Hello YouTube friends. This is another in the little advent series. Now, today I'm making a traditional Christmas pudding with a few little twists because an ordinary Christmas pudding would be a bit dull. Delicious, but a bit dull. So I found an, a recipe by Jamie Oliver. I'll put the recipe in the description below. And I've gathered together all the ingredients that I need here and I'm going to weigh them all out and we're going to make a start on making this Christmas pudding. Now, these Advent videos, of course, are coming to you in December, but I'm making this on Stir Up Sunday, which is in November. You've still got time to make it. I think it'll still be fine if you made it early in December. Uh, but these things do taste better if they mature a little bit. So I went to the shops, I bought everything on the list and so I'm going to weigh it all now into little pots so that we can see what we've got. Get back to you in a second. So I'll just run down the recipe a moment and see if I've got everything I need. Apricots, mere dates, dried cranberries, raisins, pecans, vegetarian suet, one egg, one clementine, some rosemary, crystallised ginger and fresh breadcrumbs and to that we add some plain flour. Oh hang on, that's the recipe but there's something missing. Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to go and buy the glacé cherries. Not that the recipe has got glacé cherries in it, you understand, but when I told Anna I was making Christmas pudding on Star Up Sunday, I showed her the recipe and she said, but it hasn't got any glacé cherries in, Kate. And those are my favourite thing in a Christmas pudding. So even though they're not in the recipe, they're in our recipe. Now, Cranberries are really small, the raisins are as well, but the ginger, pecans, apricots and dates all need to be chopped up really finely. So I'm going to do that now. So all the rest of the ingredients are in there now. The flour, 150 grams of flour, um, one egg, 150 grams of suet. Now, suet is fat from a beef cow. And uh, so I've got vegetable suet, which is this by the same company who makes suet, but they do a vegetable variety for us vegetarians and vegans. And then the last thing that needs to go in here, the thing that will make it all sloppy, is milk. And it wants 200 ml of milk. 
let's find the mill there it needs to go to that mark there and it particularly asked for semi skimmed milk so that's what I've got so 200 ml of milk in that goes I'll leave all the recipe uh, ingredients and the quantities and so on in the description box below and then this is where stirrup sunday gets its name and traditionally everybody in the family would come and stir the christmas pudding and make a wish so that's what i'm going to do oh the smells are good there's the uh, the orange zest that's really really nice Oh, it smells great. I'm generously buttering this pudding basin, but I'm also putting butter on the inside of these ramekins. I'll do three and then I'll see how much mixture there is left. I've done my stirring. I've made my wish. A wish for 2020. You can all make a wish now if you want to on my Christmas pudding. There it all is. Ready to go into the steamer. So I've buttered this pudding basin really carefully and now I'm going to put this inside here yeah there's going to be plenty left over so I can make some little tiny ones for gifts for people maybe my dad would like them Brother. Good old Jamie Oliver says that I'm um, to cover the pudding over with a single layer of greaseproof paper and a double layer of foil. So that's exactly what I'll do. And I remember my mum making these and she always used to put a, a pleat in the paper like that. I've only just remembered that. I haven't the first idea why. And a double layer of foil. I'll put the pleat in just so that I can remember my lovely mum. And then there's a, a sort of a clever way of crimping it, something like that, so that everything stays sealed up. This is now ready to go in the steamer, which is a, a big pan of water with a, a steamer over the top of it, 
four hours that needs. So I'll keep a close eye on it to make sure that the water doesn't boil dry. Now, of course, it's stir up Sunday. It's not Christmas Day. So this will be will keep like this. And then at Christmas, I'll take it out and I'll steam it for another hour on Christmas Day or whenever we want to serve it. So I'll do the small ones now in exactly the same way. These won't need four hours. I'm going to put these in for maybe two because they're much, much smaller, aren't they? I'm going to set the timer for an hour. so that I can check that the water's topped up. I think. Cup of tea and a sit down. That's what I need now. <laughs> 